Hello everyone. So today we are going to discuss with your fourth program of your NS2 Computer Networks Laboratory. So the question is as follows: uh, Implement simple ESS and with transmitting nodes in wireless span by simulation and determine the performance with respect to transmission of packets. And before proceeding in your last three programs, whatever it is, it is your wired program. And now what we are discussing is wireless program. And you need to know what is the difference between wired and wireless program. You know, wired program as is having a fixed topology, but whereas wireless, it is not having any fixed topology. The best example for your wireless uh, programs or wireless LAN, whatever it is, is your mobile device. Okay, can move from one place to the other place. No fixed topology is there. So whenever you connect to your hotspot, okay. Uh, uh, just you know, you can move from one place to the other place, and the main difference is what no physical or cable connection in which one you are in your wireless network, no fixed topology. And as you know that whenever you just say wireless, it comes in your data link layer, and whenever you say data link layer, it has two sub layers. One is your logical link layer, and one more thing is your max sub layer. And before that, in the program, they said that. Determine the performance with respect to transmission of packets. So, what do you mean by performance with respect to transmission of packet? Is a thing, but it's your throughput what you need to calculate. So, it's a rate of successful message delivery uh, over the communication channel from your one node to the another node. So, that is how what you are going to calculate here. So, before proceeding with that, uh, let me know what do you mean by ESS. ESS stands for Extended Service Set. Okay, before that, what do you mean by service set identifier? Okay, it's just a unique name of your wireless local area network. So, so whenever you connect your network, something like it may be a uh, Wi-Fi, something like SOAS Wi-Fi or Jupiter Lab Wi-Fi, whatever it is, it's a unique name of that particular LAN. That's it. And this SSID, that is service set identifier, is also known as network name. That's it. Nothing else is there. Here, there are two types of service set. One is your basic service set, and one more thing is extended service set. What do you mean by basic service set? Simple. It's a group of computers connected th through what you can say is access point, which links to what a wired LAN. That's it. That is nothing but your basic service set. And what do you mean by access point? It is a device that's going to create your wireless local area network. Okay, whether it can be on a lab or in your building or whatever it is, it's going to connect multiple computers. Access point. Okay. So what do you mean basic service set? Within the same building, group of computer connected through what access point to create what to create your LAN. And now, what do you mean by ESS? Extended service set. And they said that it can have more than one AP. Means in other words, what I can say is, whenever you're communicating between two basic service set, okay, at that time you are using what extended service set. What does it mean? Your mobile nodes, okay, your mobile nodes, whatever it is, it can roam anywhere within the area or within the cell region. You can say. Uh, that has been covered by what multiple access point and here whatever it is here the nodes what you are creating in your wireless uh, lan are called as mobile that's it that is called as mobile okay so hope you are clear with your extended service set so coming to your topology whatever it is here so what exactly we are doing is we are creating three nodes okay and also we are what is the type of topology what we are creating is tcp0 and here what we are doing is I'm just considering your N0 node as source node and N1 as destination that is TCP0 and SIMP1. And again one more source that is your N1 is your acting is going to act as a source and N2 is going to act as a destination. Means this N1 is going to act as a destination for your N0 and is going to act as a source new source that is your N1. So we will learn this uh, uh, in your program. So now coming to your program. So already I have typed the program. Okay. So you all know that how to open G edit. Okay, four dot TCL. Okay, so this is your program. Okay, so as you know, the first step is same. Okay, so create your new simulator class. Okay, create your new simulator class and open two different types of uh, uh, files to see your results. One is your trace file, and one more thing is your NAMP file. So before proceeding with that, what you need to do is okay, you need to create one thing called as topography. So what do you mean by to topography is a thing, but uh, so here it's an object that is going to keep track of the movement of your mobile nodes. So you need to create one window where your mobile node is going to move from one place to the other node. You need to keep track where exactly in which location it is here. 
for that you need to create an object called as what topography t caption and for this topography what our it is you are creating an object called as topo and in this particular thing you are uh, giving a something keyword called as load underscore flat grid thousand thousand so what does it specify it is going to specify the x axis and y axis of your topography it is going to specify the dimensions okay in which your mobile node can move so it says that the x axis is thousand and y axis is what your thousand and here uh, one more thing you need to add for your nam nam trace all same thing but you need to add one more thing that is your wireless okay wireless and you are specifying the dimensions what is the dimension of your topography where your mobile node can move and one more uh, thing is every node in your uh, wireless lan whatever it is here it is having different properties it is having different properties so the properties is as follows see for every node whatever it is here so node config okay this is all the property it is having so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 9 properties has to be set so first and foremost thing is what is the type of routing it is using see here so node config iphone so what is the type of uh, routing adopt routing adopt r capital so dsdv so the type of routing what are using is destination sequence distance vector routing algorithm we are using okay because it's a wireless you need to calculate the path so how do you calculate the path from one node to the other node means dstv routing algorithm is used and r should be in upper case and next is your ll type i said uh, wireless as soon as, as soon as you say wireless there are two sub layers one is your logical link layer and one more thing is your max sub layer so ll type so all t second uh, uh, this is a single word so type t should be in upper case type is what ll upper case logical link layer and what this backslash indicates see the node whatever your configuration continuation is there it has started finished this backslash indicates continuation and next is your mac type mac standard is what 802 underscore 11 so your your in your previous program for your ethernet lan the standard uh, protocol used is mac 802.3 In the same way for your Wi-Fi, the max standard what you are using is 802.11. Okay, that's what today. Mac type, so type T should be in upper case. M again, Mac M should be in upper case slash. And then in Mac class, the standard what you are using is 802 underscore point is not supported. 802 underscore 11. Continuation again backslash here. IFUQ type. That indicates interface Q. T should be in upper case. The Q what you are using is Q in again upper case. The drop tail. That's it. And the Q whatever it is here, what is the length of that? Say I F Q interface Q length. L should be in upper case. Length is fifty. And next is your physical type P H Y. T should be in upper case. See all this word T. Uh, second uh, uh, word beginning whatever it is should be in upper case. P H Y type in that there is a class. So this is your class in that sub classes. PHY physical type the network connection what you are using is wireless physical layer and again channel type not it channel type T should be in upper case and in your channel class what your channel you are using is wireless channel W and C should be in upper case here also W and P should be in upper case here W and C should be in upper case and next is your prop type P R O P type T should be in upper case propagation so what do you mean by propagation is nothing but uh, where exactly your node can transmit and receive So here, propagation is nothing but you 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 are just sending and receiving the data. That's it. You are just sending and receiving the data. And two ray ground. So send and receive. Propagate. So P should be in upper case. Propagation. Two ray ground. Single word. T should be upper case. R should be upper case. G should be upper case. And next, whenever you go with your wireless uh, any device you take, there should be an antenna. There should be an antenna. All wireless device, whether it may be a mobile or uh, anything you take, all wireless device, whatever it is, they are enabled with small device called as antenna. So ant type antenna in your main class antenna, you should be able to guess how many antenna you are using. So how many antenna means all the direction. So it is going to transmit and receive the data in all the direction. That's it. O and A should be upper case. And they said that the topography what they created is topo instance. Dollar topo means the object whatever it is, and uh, you are just uh, uh, turn turning on the tracing of both your agent because in your NS2 uh, the top uh, the particular protocols are called as agent. So agent trace on 
and router as you are going with your routing table so router is on so both are on so here i not use a close button here so that says that so this all the properties that can be set for every node this all the properties that can be set for every node so coming back uh, so here what we are discussing here so as soon as that see dollar ns go to a simulated class object is what dollar ns node iphone config so this is all the properties you need to set iphone see first is your adopt routing dstv slash indicates continuation ll type is logical link layer mac type so this is your ma main class mac 802 underscore 11 interface queue type is what q drop type and the length of that is what 50 and the network layer what you are using is physical wireless physical layer and channel type is also channel wireless channel propagation where you can send and receive in both the direction to the ground antenna uh, as shown that it is usually what uh, uh, it is used to transmit and receive the data and topo instance this is topo for what I created so you need to uh, the topo instance for every instance you need to collect that's it topo i capital instance of which object dollar topo that's it and both i'm using agent trace on and router trace on because router also you are creating and the type of uh, protocols are called as agent so both is been turned on that's it and here slash is not closed because these are end of all the configuration. These are the properties of every node. These are the properties of every node. So how we can set? So as per the topology, as per the topology, what happens is you need to create three nodes, right? You need to create three nodes. Okay, you need to create three nodes. Okay, so but how exactly you do that? But how exactly you do that? So here, coming back, like I'll explain here. Hope you can see your screen. Okay. Okay. So create iPhone God three have given how many nodes are created three nodes are created so what do you mean by God is nothing but general object directory to select all this parameter to select all this parameter for what to all this three node so this command God is used create iPhone God for how many nodes three nodes if I created four minutes four letter specifies it God specifies general object descriptor means the properties of all this whatever it is a set for all the three nodes okay so set all the parameters all this particular parameters or features whatever it is for every node should be set for all three nodes okay as per this topology you can see three nodes are created and named as n0 n1 and n2 and here what i'm doing is i can label that one so this is the one source and one destination and n1 is going to access again second source and second destination so n0 i'm just labeling as tcp0 n1 would be sync1 slash tcp1 okay and n2 is going to act as what sync2 that's it and you have created your topography uh, that dimension is what uh, x axis is thousand y axis is thousand where exactly your node should be specified position initially where exactly your node should be positioned initially so for that what happens is see dollar n0 three nodes set x axis x underscore 50 and y axis underscore 50 means in your dimension uh, x axis and y axis out of thousand thousand your n not node should be present in what 50 50 x axis 50 y axis 50 because it is two dimensional your z axis is represented as what zero and n1 node sorry dollar n1 set x hundred y axis hundred z axis zero so 100 100 there your n1 will be initially positioned and z uh, n2 node whatever it is here it is at 600 x is at 600 y is at 600 position of your topography that's it okay z axis is zero and they said that initially where exactly the node at 0 0.1 second a dollar n not set the destination where exactly it should be there 50 50 means x axis 50 y axis 50 it is there and next indicates the moving speed of that node the moving speed of your node is 15 seconds that's it Okay, again at same 0 0.1 second n1 node is at 100 100 the moving uh, speed of your n1 node is 25 and n2 it is at position 600 600 and moving speed is what 25 and as i said that you need to create your tcp agent right so simple as per topology node new agent you create tcp and you create an object called as tcp not node attached to which one attached to your n0 node n0 node what are attaching is tcp0 and whenever you give source node as uh, TCP0 for destination, you need to specify what TCP sync. Okay? New agent TCP sync you create for that I specify a sync one object. Attached to which one? N1 node. That's it. Connect this to TCP0 sync one. Hope you are clear with this. 
again what you do is okay you need to create the application right so the application for tcp is what ftp create that object is what ftp not and that ftp attached to what your tcp not that's it okay next second source that is your n1 is going to act as second source and n2 is going to act as your second destination so same way nodi so new agent tcp you created object is tcp1 you attach to which one your n1 node tcp1 you attach and the application layer protocol new application layer protocol you change the object ftp1 attach to which one your tcp1 that's it and again second destination is which one your uh, n2 node so tcp sync attach to which one your n2 node and connect these two things that is your tcp1 and your sync2 hope you are clear with this so that's it and again i said that whenever you want to start your simulations and everything you need to start and stop by this specifying through what application layer protocol here there are two types of application layer protocol one is ftp0 and ftp1 so at fifth second you will start both the simulation and the n0 transmission and n1 transmission and at 100 second you can see at 100 second what you are doing is you are saying that n1 is going to move to which one here 550 550 means it is going to go closer to which one so this is a region of n2 where it is at at your 600 600 n1 is at what 100 100 okay so initially it was uh, uh, n0 okay it is at which one here 50 50 at 100 second what it says n1 set destination move to which one here 550 550 means it goes nearer to which one n2 node 600 yala it goes nearer to what n2 node and the communication is going to establish between what n1 and n2 at 190 second you are just saying that n1 node come back to which one is 70 70 so whenever it comes 70 70 means it comes closer to which one n0 node at that time the communication is going to establish between what n0 and n1 that's it okay and you are finish push drop keyword finish no parameters you will make all the variables as global because it can be used anywhere flush trace it is used you all know that it is used to dump the results to your na trace file and your nam file and if you want to see animation execute command what you are seeing network animation nam and the file name is what 4.nam ampersand specify execute in background close your trace file and nam file if needed and exit zero successful completion and total time finish what they said is 250 and run your simulation hope you are clear with this so here what exactly you need to calculate is determine the performance with respect to transmission of your packet how much packet has been transmitted from n0 to n1 by how much time it taken so number of packets sent divided by time total time that what you need to calculate the performance whatever sent from n0 to n1 and whatever transmitted from n1 to n2 that what you need to calculate and now uh, just uh, let me run my simulation you can just see here i'll just save and exit okay so i'll just run my simulation now ns 4.tcl yeah so you got the topology here you got the nan so initially you can't see anything because 0.1 second you said to start your simulation so i'll just use your play button here at 0.1 second what happens is node so it is 50 50 n0 node is at 50 50 n1 is at 100 100 n2 is at which one here 600 600 at what second i said to transmit at 190 second you can just see here okay i'll just here yeah, zoom out this yeah at 190 second you can just see here at 190 second what happens is this n1 node is going to move to which one here the position 550 comma 550 at that time this node is going to communicate see so let it run So now it is in the range fifty hundred hundred. So these two nodes are communicating. These two nodes are communicating because this is in the range. So one ninety second. See it goes here, and these two nodes is going to communicate again. One ninety second. So come back, and whenever it comes, so these two nodes is going to communicate. So this is what actually uh, the topology how it exactly it executed. So in your program, what you do is I'll show you here. Hmm. At hundred uh, second, yeah, hundred second. Uh, before hundred second, five you are started. Fifth second you are started. So that is n not n one. Means n not and n one are closer. N not is at which position? Fifty fifty. N one is at hundred hundred. At that time, n not and n one is going to communicate. Okay. At hundred second, what happens is, see, n one is going to move to five fifty five fifty. X axis, so y axis five fifty. Ah, topography, ah, dimension, it goes to there. At that time, what this nearer to which node? N one, n two node. At that time, n one and n two communicates. And again at 190 second, what I said, you just said n1 not to come back to what 
So 70, 70 means it is nearer to which one? N0 node. At that time, N0 and N1 is going to come like it. That's what you can see again at fifth second is going to start a simulation. Okay, I'll just show it once again. See, I just use play button, then you can see these nodes at fifth second. Okay, one for second, nodes are placed in that position. At fifth second, you can just see here. Yeah, now, now you can see. At fifth second, here, as soon as it reaches fifth second, you can see the communication has been established. At hundredth second, what happens? This N1 node is going to move to which one here? Position number 100, comma 100 here. At 100 seconds, it is going to go near to which one? 50, 50. Then it is going to communicate the 100 second. Again, at 190 second, you said come back to what? 70, 70. See, at that time, whenever it comes, it will be in this range. So, these two nodes are going to communicate. Hope you are clear with this. So, this is your NAMP file. And whenever you want to check the performance, how do you check the performance? Total number of packet transmitted and how much time it has taken, that much. How much you are transmitted from N0 to N1 and how much you are transmitted from N1 to N2. So for calculating that, so you can just use uh, your get edit 4.trace file. Uh, you can't understand anything here. Okay. So for this, what I what we are doing is okay. So this we can see your aux script already. I have written the aux script by name 4.awk. I'll just close this one. Yeah. So this is your aux script. So I've just taken uh, three variables here. Okay. One is your count variable. Okay. For your source one, count two variable for your source two. And how much packet you are transmitted for that packet one. And how much packet you are transmitted through a second source, that's your packet 2. And for two different uh, uh, nodes, time 1 and time 2 variables have taken. Everything is being initialized to 0. And now, check here. Uh, I'm just uh, using, so begin section is this. Now, rule section, what I've done is, if dollar $1 equal to R, dollar $1 equal to, equal to R, double quotes, character line. What does it mean? If it is received. And dollar $3 equal to, equal to 1 means whatever you receive from to which node you are n0 n1 n2 what are received to the n1 node and your fourth field is what what is the type of packet you are used it is agent type because agent tcp agents are created that's it that's why agt agt indicates agent whenever that is the case if all these three conditions are expressed count plus plus means how many packets you are transmitted and packet one is equal to packet one plus dollar right so what dollar it indicates the size of your packet, total number of packet divided by total time. So time, whatever it is, it is in your second field. So this is for first source. Second source again. How many packets are transmitted from N1 to N2 node? So again, dollar one equal to R, dollar three equal to what? N2. So I'll just show you a trace for it will be like this. Underscore to underscore. And dollar four is equal to AGT means count that one. And packet two is equal to packet two plus dollar eight. Time is two is equal to dollar two. And I want to check the performance, right? How do I check the performance? Total number of packet into total number of packets is divided by total time taken. That's why there is a throughput at the end section, the throughput from N0 to N1, percentage of floating point MBPS it gets. See, count one, and the total number of packets into packet one into dollar eight. So because packet is represented in the terms of bytes, if you convert into bits, into A, that's it. So that gives total number of packet into what how many bits it has been there and time is represented in the format of megabits that's why 10 power 6 time into this one so you divide that one you will divide that one so you will get what is your throughput this is your source one in the same way for source 2 n1 to n2 you get count 2 star packet 2 star 8 divided by time 2 divided by uh, time is represented in the format of megaseconds and 1 byte is equal to uh, 8 bit that's it so this is your aux script okay uh, before that I'll just show how exactly it is here. Okay, control L clear. Okay, before that, let me see your trace file for dot TR. Yeah, now the first field, whatever it is here, it is your R received, send, whatever. Second field is your time, and this is your third field. So, your third field, whatever it is here, you can see what 
slash zero underscore zero underscore that is indico indicates the node number and next indicates what agt that indicates what the uh, type of your packet agent in the bunja router in the bunja as you are using your agent so fourth fifth sixth seventh and this is your age field this is your packet size so packet size you are calculating okay whatever packet size that is your dollar rate so this is your trace file so now coming coming to how you compile how you pass your ox script to your trace file that you need to know yeah a w k minus f output of one file is passed to the input the other file uh, 4.awk is passed to which one of 4.tr see the throughput from n0 to n1 is how much you are getting is 5863 another 5863 megabits per second and throughput from n1 to n2 is what 1307 or something so this is your program you can change your topology uh, change the parameters and you can check so what exactly you can do is so timings and all you can increase or the nodes and all you can increase and check the performance that's it hope you are clear with this so this is your fourth program guys so it will stop hope you understood uh, thanks for listening